it's so big? Is it a reindeer? Oh, it's very, very big. Please be my friend. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Calamity calling and I... I forgot that I left myself in a bit of an upsy daisy spot. Uh, I think I might be on the final mission of trying to find the the creature that keeps taking over people's brains. It's gonna be a fun one, isn't it? Some of you raised a point in the comments that you feel like I am rushing through this. Being totally honest, I feel like I have been a little bit. I don't feel like I'm rushing through the game, but I do feel like I am rushing the missions a bit to try and do more of them because there are just so many now. After the first and second games, it really was brought home to me how important it is that you do every single mission. I want to do as much as possible. I want to do everything and there's no timeline for me to complete this game, but also for my own enjoyment, I want to progress. I want to feel like I'm achieving something each time. I don't always know if I am actually achieving something or if I've just ticked a box. It was mentioned in the comments. The Leviathan missions will get more horror as they go on and I'm not good at horror games. I'm so not good at horror games that the next new game you are going to see on this series, it's going to be Princess Peach Showtime. So keep an eye out for that. I'm very excited, but just warning you, this is, this is going to go well. What was I doing? I was gonna get in a mech suit. I was gonna reload, actually. Oh boy. You ready for a swim? Never. Let's go. But yeah, all right. Right, I need to be hydrated for this. Ironic, because I'm going down. down there, Commander. Don't be serious. Closing hatch. Oh god. Engaging systems. Hmm. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. <laughs> no. No, I'm good. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Boop. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, I feel so anxious right now. Is it coming across? I think it's coming across. Looks good so far. Don't you dare cut me up from comms. No. Cortez? Cortez! <laughs> Have I ever mentioned how much I hate open dark spaces like I cannot play VR games that don't have clear walls because it makes me feel like my insides unhappy. This is triggering so many oh no feelings. <sighs> Fudge. The pressure, right? It's the pressure. Oh my god. Mm. I don't like it. Oh, fudging heck. I don't want this to be how she dies. Why do I do this to me? If you can read me up there. Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is only up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. Uh, this is the indicates the probe is below my position. And for a way down. Worst walking simulator ever. Ah, oh my god, that's just her probes. Oh. Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. <laughs> ah. Some strange readings from the probe. And he's definitely down there. Oh, Jesus Christ, Mary and Joseph. I am so anxious right now. You can probably tell. Oh, uh, oh, this is like, this isn't. 
This is literally a nightmare. Literally my nightmare. Oh, Jesus, right? Alley-oop. How do I swim? I can't swim. I can literally only point in the Just yet. general direction. Oh, it's got bubbles. Oh, it's got bubbles. Please don't be massive and ugly and creepy and scary and right there. I can't steer right now. I can only... There's the probe. There's the probe. Where's the probe? Ow. Found the probe. Seems to... I'm gonna keep moving. Find Leviathan. Screw you, Leviathan. Why do you have to live in such a uh, place? I am really approaching the maximum depth that this suit can handle. I am really approaching the depth that my mental health can handle also. Oh, please don't be scary. I don't want to hurt you. I just want you to help me kill the Reapers. Oh, it's big. Oh, why is it so big? Is it a reindeer? Oh, it's very, very big. Please be my friend. Hello? Oh. Don't you play mind games with me? Not yours either. You I need to know why. They are the enemy. One that seeks our extermination. Stop mind gaming. I thought you were a reaper. They are only echoes. We existed long before. Oh, wonderful. I mean, it's great for a bad-ass boss speech, but can we not just have a conversation? Belongs to me. Breathe. Anne? What's happening? A form I recognize, I think? Your memories give voice to our words. Your nature will be revealed to us. Accept this. The galaxy's at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species can be destroyed. I've done it before. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, that's never a good start. Cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for, but we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Oh. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. Oh. You call it Harbinger. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination is not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. 
this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? Hmm. They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat them? To find a solution that required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Arbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. Okay, Major Point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Oh. Wait. The cycle will continue. Mm -mm. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. Oh, hell no! Reapers will harvest the rest. You release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. It already has. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. Excuse me? You better let me out. Oh, it has hands? It was plenty big enough already. It did not need hands. Oh, there's more! Ooh! Your confidence is singular. I've earned it. Out there fighting where you should be. It's clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Yes. Today, they pay their tribute in blood. Nice. Uh-oh. I need to go now.
whoosh. I wonder how many points of... Oh, there's a lot of them. There are so many. Or they're just massive. I wonder how many points I get in the war room for having Leviathan. Ugh. So many of them. Um, help. Don't you dare. Help. I've got the bends. <laughs> this one is ours. Now this is a turn of events. Thank you, Garrus. Chairman Bat, Cortez, talk to me. We're good to go. I don't know what the commander did, but the pulse is offline. Fantastic. I'm off. There's a bad guy in a game called Flea. Did I do good? Shepard, wake up. She's freezing. <coughs> <laughs> I'm alive. You okay? <coughs> Relative. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? Yes. Sorry, I had to change the earbuds that kept falling out. It was. We exposed it. Pushed it into the light. Whether it likes it or not, it's part of this war now. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Anne. And thanks for all your help. Shepard out. Under Russia. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Hmm. Let's see how many things in the War Council. Uh, Alliance, Asari, Crucible, Turian. Aha, there we go. 400. Not bad. I think it's in here. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Oh. Uh -huh. Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. 
A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. A what now? Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Well, I mean, I was planning on going to Citadel anyway, so, um, that aligns nicely, doesn't it? I'm playing Andromeda. To me, Andromeda feels like what they were trying to do with Starfield, except Andromeda did it first. I may be firing shots here. I'm not just bashing the game. I like the story, but I feel like when you've... Oh, God, hang on. I need to pause because everything's making too much noise and it's distracting. I find being in Citadel my least favourite place to be because there's just constant noise coming from all over the place. Anyway. I enjoy the story of Andromeda, but I feel like it looks and plays like Starfield, but more put together and more cohesive than Starfield was. But it's not the Mass Effect that 1, 2 and 3 delivered. It's like... It's like when a new writer takes over a popular series and they've technically got the core elements there, but everything else is different and it just doesn't feel like home anymore. Also, the fact you have to hold down triangle to look at anything and do the stuff, no, not for me. Right, aha. Oh, I didn't realize this was a bar. I thought this was a shop. Well, hey, I remember you, Shepard. Right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. Yeah. Uh. Matriarch Benazio was, um, was her mother, and, uh, well, she doesn't know it, but I was her father. You should talk. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Benazio ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a human commander that used to work for Cerberus. Sound. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now, I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Venezia and... Well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. I hadn't agreed to keep an eye on her. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna go give her a nudge. Hey, 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 I met your dad. That bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. What? Well, of course you do. I never get to surprise you with anything. <laughs> I'm a very good information broker. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Do it. Liara. Oh, fine. <laughs> Stop it. Stop being stubborn. Go. If everything goes tits up, at least you've spoken to her. One eternity later. 
um, in engineering. Because I bought whatever the thing I thought was, so... I think. Or it wasn't there. Or did I not... Do I not have the money? Is that what it is? Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did Kenneth I get still installing the thermal the down the We'll have a report later. Wonderful. So I did buy the thing. Gemini Sigma. I don't remember... I don't remember going there. Or maybe I haven't, I just don't remember. It could very well be the case. Um, wait, I think I have been here. Signal confirmed. No. Oh. This is rare. Not rare, but like... I, I really thought I had investigated everywhere, but so I learned. Salvage, nice. Oh boy. Whoop. Reapers eluded. Come on then. Well, I am quite far ahead of them actually, so let's heal. Oh, nice. Bye! Faster than light jump successful. Thank you. I don't think I actually have. Oh. I found something. Oh. Oh boy. Woo! Will I make it out? Will I make it out? Same as when I had that mission on Benning, I really thought that... that I would find his body. I didn't realize I had to go back to the... Ooh, Nairobi. Fun. Nairobi is a very fun word to say. Evasion successful. Is there anything else here? No, 100% recovered. Well, let's go. Let me go. Oh, chill your britches, please. Reaper. Minos Wasteland, Ismar Frontier, Crescent Nebula. Do you know what? Let's go here. Since all of the quests seem to be here. Bloody hell, look at that. Well, let's have a look in all of the places. If everything's on that one, you don't want to just go to that one. Let's have a look in Dranek. Signal confirmed. Fudge heck. Made me jump. Ooh. That's gonna. Oh. Made me jump. Oh, wet squad. Oh, I don't know if I want the wet squad. I appreciate it. Let's go to Nith. We are the knights who say Nith. I know it's me, but it just it popped into my head. Krogan DMZ. Fudge, it's a big one. I found something. Oh, fudge, 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 fudge. Oh, they are very angry about me finding anything here. Oh, that's all that's in Nith, and yet they were so pissy about it. Christ, these reapers. We There we go. Uh, so we've got a lot of stuff to do on this one planet. I'm gonna climb off you. Tachanka! Haven't been back here since the second. Ah, uh, okay. Um... Let's start with the Cerberus one. No wait, down vessel. 
because I feel like that's a super duper mainline quest. And that's going to tell me something, and that's going to give me assets. What do you think? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a froggy by its toe. If it screams, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Guess we're getting the Turians. Well, you go have Garrus with you if you're going to do the Turians. Well, not do the Turians. I know what I meant. Adliara. Except. Now for the weapons, because I just bought some doohickeys to stick on my weapons, didn't I? Because I'm always curious to see which one it does, and I don't so much worry. Can I do anything for you? No. Can I do anything for you? War ammo, of course. Confirm. Let's go rescue some Turians. This crash site's a nightmare. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper Scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? Victus? Primarch, son. Huh. Try to raise him. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. Is that the best you can do? Yes, ma'am, but the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. We're gonna do some shooty shooty bang bang stuff. Whoosh! Oh. Okay. Edie? Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Thank you. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feel. Hmm. Let's try that one. And then, also, fire. Because I like fire. Lieutenant Victus, I'm coming. A secret Turian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? Ooh. Nothing has come up through any of my networks. Just keeping an eye out for any goodies. La da 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 da, let's go. Yeah, something here feels a bit fishy. Don't you jump scare me, you bastards. I have an itchy trigger figure. Bit of finger. Quick, we don't want them to call for backup. I knew what I meant, I just didn't have the words, apparently. Yoink. <laughs> I have money for a change, it's quite rare. I'm not used to having money. Escape pod. Our first casualties. Looks like they survived the crash, but then a harvester took them out. Continue. Died in the explosion. And then pulled out to be eaten by husks. Oh. Shepard, I hear gunfire. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. Die. Oh. That was not the button I was going for, but... Harvester! Incoming harvester! Oh no. That harvester is going to destroy the Turian escape pod! There we go. You! Uh oh. 
issue. Don't stop for us. We'll head for the main crash site. There's okay. All right, on we go. What's it gonna reload? Nope, never mind. Excellent work. Oh, nice. I still don't know yet whether I'm supposed to be buying guns or just finding them. ASAP. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. It's a big military name on Palavan. War's expected to run in the Victus blood. Children shouldn't be burdened with the successes of their parents any more than their failings. Agreed. Ooh. Sneaky hiding bag. I just swear I just bought one of them. This is why I don't bother buying stuff, because a better thing or the same thing can always be found in the next flipping mission. Jokes on you. Damn, another harvester. Welcome. Uh, what? I think we saved all those men. This way. Going. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, itchy thumb, itchy thumb. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let me change to this one. Change it up a bit. Do you read, Commander? Repeat. Do you read? Shepard here. What's yep. your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Well, I keep nearly finding you, and then you move again. Arnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. What? How's to live this down? When we find him, we'll ask. You what now? What do he do? Cause those are some serious you know. Shepard here. Just saw harvesters drop a lot of enemies in your path. Understood. There's the harvester. It's retreating! Come on, then. Right. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice him there. Got distracted, started shooting, things worked out all right. That's how most of these missions go for me though, I find. Oh fudge. God's sake, stay dead, you ugly bastard. There is only allowed to be one chaos in here, and it's me. It seems that the Turians are playing with political dynamite here. Maybe they should inform the Krogan. Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. Oh, nice. Yeah, get your shit together. We got stuff to do. I don't care about your squabbles right now. And whilst I understand they may be very valid. Alright, let's move! Not 
One more soldier dies here today. For Taliban. What now? Sorry, you're one of mine. Stay the fuck dead. I've had enough of your nonsense. Get the fuck up. Oh wait, hang on. Let's use some disruptor ammo. Damn you guys, you're so good. You. God, these things are ugly. Stop it. They are a duck. We absolutely did not need a bloody Turian high Turian hybrid crossover fuck's sake stay dead dear lord there are too many of you bastards i'm gonna have to start stealing your flipping parts Ooh. what was that wait there's something over here Oh, oh, ow. Okay, I'm kind of pinned down. This is a big old weapon. I just don't know where I'm meant to use it. Oh, there you are. I think it's dead now. This way. Oh. All out of battery. Sorry, where am I going? Over there, okay. Well, I've got to look for stuff. Hello? You alright? What's going on? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Tell me, what the fudge going on? Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts, but you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cer and you're just gonna leave that? If Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it, and so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Kick their asses. 
What's wrong with you? Inspire them, threaten them. Lieutenant, if Cerberus succeeds, the Reapers divide and conquer us, and then that is on them. Listen up. This isn't about your fears and grievances. Fears? We're only afraid of the next messed up order you give. Irrelevant. Court martial death and dishonor awaits anyone who balks at his duty. We are Turian. We finish what we came here to do, or we die trying. Shuttles arrive any minute, so get your asses in gear. Let's move! Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Ah, I'm proud of him. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelfic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. Mm hmm What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Well, from the frying pan into the fire. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? It doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. I am the command. Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Shadow broke a wet squad. Why is it wet? Third fleet. I am slowly building up my army. Alliance funding, yay! I'm going to go and buy. I've actually got money for a change, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go and buy. Maybe buy some guns. I think maybe. I think from the second in the second game, I. How about your buddy, the one who joined Cerberus. I knew which guns were good. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. And I have a new message. You're welcome. Right, let's go speak to Adam and then go... Engineering. Uh, let's go speak to Adam and then... Have a look at the guns. Do you ever think about when we were Man, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Ooh! Level up! Thank you. It's great to be I'm glad the commander didn't Feels forget good to be in the Good job, guys. And I'm gonna give him the shiny gun, too. Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. 
Rex is a badass. He's a best boy badass. I am going to end this episode here feeling I've achieved a lot. I've got a lot more questions. And we're going to spend a lot of time on Tachanka going forward, I think. So, have a very lovely day. And most importantly of all, you do you.